everyone welcome back to my new YouTube channel my name is Kathy today I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the watercolor paints that close to my heart is now selling and make like an ombre effect I'm gonna be creating several cards and I just want to have different colors and create like an ombre effect on the front so for, I'm first gonna show you the technique and then at the end of the video I'll just show you some cards that I've made with it so what I'm going to be doing is I basically want to choose one color and I'm going to be um, creating the ombre effect so the, I actually cut my paper down to five by seven because I'm going to be making five by seven cards and I'm going to be trimming this piece so I'm not gonna be worried about the edges like if the the paint kind of bunches up at the edges because I'm actually going to be trimming this but um, I just made it five by seven and then I'll show you the cards at the end. So what I'm going to do is just pick, I use the paper dry, I don't actually get, get it wet um, at all. I just want to go right into the paint so I'm just wetting um, my brush and then I'm going to go right into the paint and then I'm going to create a look. So I'm going to pick this color here and so what I'm doing is I'm not, I'm not putting a lot of water into the color and I'm just going to go ahead and start painting the top and I just want to get it quite or oh, quite pigmented at the top because I'm going to be going ombre down so that it goes lighter so that's the first thing I do is I put the brush right into the color and then I put it down then I just dub dab it in the water a little bit and go right back and then I'm going to be creating my next section which is a little bit lighter than the last section and then I'm going to go into the water again and I'm going to really try and rinse my brush and then I'm going to go into the bottom so that it's really quite subtle near the bottom. Now sometimes what I'll do is I'll want to add some more color at the top just because I want it to pop a bit more or if you find that these to the, the top section and the middle section have blended more than you really like them to then I just add a bit more color at the top. I might go in and then just wear the two colors the two sections kind of start to go lighter I might just add some water there so that is an example of one and then I'm gonna do one more just to show you um, the example Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this blue color here and again I just wet my brush and then I get it quite saturated with the paint and then I'm just going to be brushing it on there directly. And I sometimes I'll tape my paper down but in this case I actually found it quite easy to just not do that so I'm just holding it in the corner here with my finger and then I'm just holding it in place and then I'm able to do it so this is an example of where I'm not, I'm not feeling like the gradient is as much as I want it to be so I'm going to go back into that color at the top and then just add some more pigment in the top so that I can just create more of an ombre look that I like and then I got that middle section going and then I'm going to really red it try and get the paint out of my brush and then just go into that bottom section so it's super super easy this is such an easy technique but it looks really great in the end so I'm going to show you how I dry these and then I actually create some stamps I stamp on top of them and then put create them into cards so if you're interested in that just keep watching okay so these are the cards that I made um, using this watercolor um, kind of ombre technique so some of them are more plain the the first two that I'm going to show you are more plain just because I actually have them um, for masculine cards so I just wanted to make this blue one and then I actually made an identical blue one for um, two masculine birthdays that I have coming up and for the rest of them I um, did a little bit more stamping and then added some charms so this one is um, a thank you card I actually made the rest of them into thank you cards because whenever I get an order with close to my heart from a customer I like to give them thank you cards so I sometimes I like to make several of them at a time so that I have them ready to go when I get orders <clears throat> so this is um, the heart new heart charm that um, close to my heart carries and this is 
um, just a thank you card. And then the rest of them, I actually used the September stamp of the month, which was this kind of silhouette um, flower stamp, which I just love. So uh, the rest of them are all the same. So this is kind of like a version of the kind of red color. And then I just added the little red charm on there. This is more like a purpley blue one. And for this one, I just decided to do one of the, um, just the plain rhinestones on there. This is kind of like a pinker, purpley pink kind of version <clears throat> of the card. And I did make a mistake in that for some of them, I had tied this ribbon on the left side, but for balance in my card, I do prefer to have, I prefer to have the um, knot on this side of the card because then I, the, the charm kind of dangles down on this side and it just creates, in my opinion, better balance in the card. But this one I'd already tied, so <laughs> I couldn't change it, but that was a bit of a mistake there. And then, then there's a purple one. So this one I did was able to put the ribbon on the right side and have the charm hanging down. And there's an emerald green card that I made. Again, this one I had put it on the wrong side, so I just left it the way it was, but technically, I kind of don't, I prefer the other style, so. And then the last one is another blue one and I just added one of our bow charms on here. So, I mean, this is just one technique of so many that you can do with the watercolors. So I just encourage you to get them and have some fun. Like it's just, it really, if you don't have a lot of pattern paper or you just want to get away from pattern paper and create your own kind of background paper, it's just so fun to try the watercolor um, techniques and just, um, use them on your cards or in your scrapbooking projects. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy crafting. Thanks. Bye-bye.